Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. You think you can hide from me? I'm hiding. You just took out of me? Probably because you murdered my siblings. That's probably why you're hugging me. Maybe you should understand. I didn't. I'm sorry that you felt that way. You didn't do anything, right? Mom, I've prayed for you in my worst moments. I have prayed for my siblings who swore to me were okay. I thought I could trust you. I thought that you were a completely different person. I don't know. I don't know. Murderous mother. You can make judgments when you aren't there and you don't know what happened. How? What happened? Everyone's making their own judgments. Mom, you've been shoving BS on my throat for a very long time. I'm gonna talk to you. It could be bad. Sweet. Hey, listen to me. I'm not mad. Listen to me. Fine. Listen to me. I sat there and prayed. I can't tell you the amount of pain that I have felt. From your decisions in Jesus Christ's name, it kills me to watch you sit here and tell me this is a trial. It kills me to watch you take the victims out and say that this shouldn't have happened to you. When you are telling me that Chad Dago came into your life and all of a sudden, Everything changes, and I'm talking about my spirit feels this. I prayed, I trusted you, I gave you every chance I could past my own limitations as a human being. I pushed past all of everything to try to get to you to help my own mother. You lied to me, specifically to me. More times than I can count about this. To know that they're gone and you knew, and my phone is being texted by my little sister, who's not even alive, my little brother, who's the sweetest little kid ever, for what purpose? Can you tell me? This is God's will for my whole family, including my stepfather, to be dead. After everything that you try to tell me, you can tell me right now that Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world, is on your side. You tell me that with all the conviction in your heart that Jesus Christ is on your side right now. Please. I can tell you that. Say his name. Say that he told you. And you followed him like exactness. Because I have prayed for you. I sat there and tried my best to forgive you and Chad and Alex. And I was deceived. And I was broken by my own mother. What are you doing? What are you doing? I plead to heavenly Father, and I said, "You tell me, Father." Oh, I have all made these judgments. They think they know. I what happened. Happened. They think. I don't care about other people. What they think they know it was possible. Do you know that you told me? Everything. Do you know that you told me? Because you weren't there. So you. You're right. I wasn't there. I was kept in the right. And one day, you will know. Murder. 
What if Jordan. you will know what actually happened? You're right, because you know what, man? And we all will stand there with everything we, into the light. You're yeah. absolutely right. He will convict the people who act in his name with pure blasphemy. <laughs> This is funny. This is funny. This is funny. You're laughing. Like, this is funny. How come your camera's on, Mom? You don't want to look at me in the eye? Why can't you look at me? It's, it's nice just me and me. I'm in my house alone. I love you. I always will. One day you will see and one day you will understand. Go ahead and hang I up. I do love you. See how that works for you. You gonna hang up? I don't. I don't have anything else to say. You obviously don't know. You, you weren't wrong. there. You weren't there. Summer wasn't there. My mom wasn't there. The police weren't there. The FBI weren't there. You're Nobody right. Nobody was, was there. Kylie and JJ mom. Yeah, and guess what? They JJ. know. They Barely. know exactly what and happened. Backyard. And they love me. And we are still right. together forever. They love me. And they are fine. And they do know the truth. And I know the truth. And we're they the only people that do. So you can judge me, Colby, all day long. Go ahead and judge me. The whole world judge me? has. The whole world Mother, has judged me. Listen to me. They bro. don't hey, know and we you don't, don't know. know. You don't know what I've been through, You're, and you don't even give a crap what they've been through. Nobody does. I don't except for me. I'm the one that knows. I'm the one that was in the hospital with Tylee no, 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 for hundreds of days watching her suffer. Oh. I'm the one that was there doing everything with JJ every day. I was the one who did it all these years. You did it all to throw it in the garbage. They're not. You don't know what happened. Okay. You don't know what it happened. It's freaking matter what happened if they're buried in your new husband's backyard. Tell me that matters what happened. You tell me that you did this in Jesus' name, Mom. I have to hear that out of you. If you believe it, then you are not afraid. Every witness of Christ will scream his name when he comes back. So you are that person. You I am that person. That I Jesus am that person. Christ and he to will be come a to you. Oh, yeah, Colby, cool, because that's what it is. Okay. You don't even know. You weren't even when there. I asked you about October, when I asked you about Tyler in October, what did you tell me? What did you tell me? What lies did you feed me? Why would you lie to me if you were so, if you're with the Lord and you've seen him and I'm just talking purely to you and you've seen Jesus Christ, where's the fear? Why would you tell me something? Why were you afraid? Why is everyone against you? Why is everything okay, against my mom? You can be against me all you want. One day, we will all I'm stand there with Jesus. We will all stand there You're with right. Jesus, and you will know the truth of everything. Not for me. You're telling me that this was all done in light. Say it. Tell me that this was done in Jesus' name. You don't know what happened. Why? Why don't I know, Mom? Oh, because I was kept in the dark to protect me? You know who needed protecting my little dead siblings? That's who needed protecting, Mom. This Where were you? is not. Shut a up. That what you think you need? You ran away. I had it. A month later, you ran away. I never wanted you guys to leave. I would have taken those kids in one second. I would bring them into my home and I would have taken care of them. That's not even a question to me. Yeah, everybody says You can't that. say that, you know. Everybody says that. Says it now? Where was my office? I was the offer to hold me. Well, you I had everything for just a week. Well, me, I and Peter you. Griffin run away together to Hawaii? How about that? If you would have offered me, you would have known. You cannot sit here and lie. That's what everybody thinks. That, that is not the truth. Okay? That's what people they are thinking. They were murdered, they were put in the and then you walk away. So you don't know. Show, no, no, you, you don't know that. So no, that, that is not tell what happened. That is what not happened. what happened. You tell me what happened. If you can tell me what happened, then I don't care. If you can actually explain it, then it's different. I would love but you can't. to talk to you about it. Mom, you've been saying that you've been wanting to tell me for a very long time, and you never say it. You have no idea how much pain I have felt in my body. I feel like I could die. My own mom, my siblings, and my whole family, my dad are... Everyone is gone except for you and you're in jail because of it. 
I have prayed to Heavenly Father himself and asked him to help me survive this. Do you understand the uh, freaking earthquake that has been caused? Do you know how many people are hurt and broken now? And you're telling me that there's a reason? Why are you following Chad down the rabbit hole, Mom? Why would you follow anybody that is not good? How can you follow someone that cannot lead you to salvation in Jesus, Mom? You can't lie to me anymore. You can't pretend anymore. You can't hide anymore. If you want to tell me what happened, I called you for that very reason. You had enough condemnation for the whole entire eternity, but you're telling me that you're going to stand in front of Jesus Christ and you're going to be fine. That I'm still praying for you. I am still praying for you. I don't know where the lies and all these things are written. I don't see it. I never have. The light of Jesus Christ is the most powerful thing that's ever lived. It's the most loving, embracive thing that has ever happened to this world. And I pray that you see him and fall into his grace. I pray every day. I pray, no matter how mad I am at you, no matter how bad I want to hit your husband in the face with a shovel, I pray for you. I pray for him. You ripped my heart out and you ripped out everyone in this family's heart out. I'm going to be in Idaho next, this week. You need to look me in my eye, mom. Look me in my eye. 